these are the six main differences between doing your post graduation in germany and doing your post graduation in india so without much further ado let's dive right into it so i have done my post graduation both in india and in germany for example i did my surgical post graduation in india for about four years and then i came to germany i worked in germany as a surgeon and then I did my post graduation in radiology, diagnostic and interventional radiology for six years. So I have a wide area of expertise in both the countries. The first important point is that post graduation in Germany is free. Yes, you heard that right. It's absolutely free. You don't pay a fee. You pay nothing. Instead, you get a salary. So your starting salary on a gross income when you start your post graduation this is the first year of post graduation it would be around 3500 euros this would be around 2.8 to 3 lakhs i think in indian rupees so this is the first big difference i still remember my pg in india we were so badly paid it was like 2000 rupees which is i guess is around 150 to 200 euros around 300 euros it was pathetic it wouldn't be enough for us of course we had to rely on the support of our parents everything had to be paid from our pockets and we were made to work like crazy in the ward with absolutely no pay no holidays it's not like that in germany the pg is absolutely free here and not just that you get paid on a hefty salary a beginning salary of around 3500 euros gross per month so from this salary you would be paying your health insurance your social security insurance this is called the sozialversicherung in germany and of course other insurance like unemployment insurance so at the end of it you would get around 2.5 to 2.8 thousand euros in your pocket which is more than enough to start a life in germany so this is a huge advantage for doing your post graduation in germany the second big difference between doing your medical post graduation in india and in germany is that in germany you're considered an employee you're not a trainee so what does this mean this means you are treated like any other employee in the country you are entitled to disability insurance suppose you lose your job you get your unemployment insurance a part of your salary is put into your retirement fund so in every way you're an employee you're not treated like a trainee basically you are in a job as such so you earn money as well and you do your training at the same time of course it's not like that in india in india you have a three-year pg course then you have your super specialty course where you get paid peanuts and of course this is not the case you are treated like an employee who gets all the benefits of an employee of the country of germany provident fund retirement benefits unemployment insurance disability insurance and in some cases even the health insurance so this is a huge difference between germany and in india the third difference between doing your post graduation in germany and india is the post graduation in germany is as a rule for five years whereas in india it is three years but after three years you're considered a senior resident in india i don't know if it has changed meanwhile in the past five to ten years but in germany it's five years minimum what do i mean by that this means you have to have completed five years to take your post graduation exam if you think you're not ready at the end of five years you can extend your pg as long as you want i had a colleague who was 50 years old and was still doing her post graduation in germany this is called assistance arts you are given a logbook and you are supposed to fulfill certain criteria for example if you're doing a surgical post graduation you are expected to have assisted in around 200 gallbladder operations or around 100 appendicectomy operations so uh, around 50 laparoscopy operations so you have to enter that in your logbook and once you fulfill all this criteria which is quite easy to do let's say you finish it off within four years all of the requirements 
of your postgraduate degree. Let's say you finish it off in four years, but you can't take your exam. You have to wait the, the five years after which, but at the end of five years, let's say you haven't reached your criteria, it's not a problem. You can continue your post-graduation. It's not considered fail. You don't take an exam or anything. Your post-graduation can go as long and there are many who never take the exams after five years. Some take it after six, seven, 10, 12 years because you're an employee. You're paid a salary while you do your post-graduation. So there's no pressure on somebody to finish off their post-graduation. So let's say somebody has finished their post-graduation after five years and has started as a, as an assistant professor in a hospital after five years. Whereas there's another candidate who has not taken his post-graduation and is still continuing to work as a resident. In Germany, it's called Assistenzatz. Say he's been working as Assistenzatz for eight years. His salary will be more than the salary of the person who is already an assistant professor simply because he has more experience. In Germany, it's all about experience. It depends on how many years you've been working. Every year, sa your salary keeps increasing. And this is why somebody who is a resident for 10 years will have a more salary than an assistant professor who is finished after five years. I, I don't know if that makes sense. That is how the system works. So if you're, for example, I was able to finish my post-graduation in five years and I became an assistant professor and my salary kept on increasing but people who are older than me who still hadn't finished their residency were earning more than me so I hope that makes sense the next big difference is that you can discontinue your post-graduation what do I mean by that let's say you have started doing your post-graduation in internal medicine after six months you don't like internal medicine let's say you don't like your colleagues you don't like the hospital you don't like the place and you decide you want to change the hospital it is doable you can change your hospital you can say no i want to do my internal medicine in another hospital you just apply to another hospital and you can take up a new job in another hospital no problems at all nobody will force you to stay in the same hospital if you don't like it Let's take in another scenario. Let's say you don't like internal medicine itself. If you find a position in the same hospital in a different field, you can even switch there. For example, you're doing internal medicine, but you want to do neurology and you see that there's a vacancy in the department of neurology in the same hospital and you can shift to that department and continue your post-graduation in neurology. For example, if you're doing a post-graduation in neurology and you've had about one year of experience in internal medicine, this is counted for your neurology post-graduate degree, if that makes sense. Say, let's say you switch over to cardiology. In, in Germany, cardiology is a separate field. It's not part of internal medicine. So it's six years of training for cardiology, whereas in, in internal medicine is just five years. Say, let's say you do two years of internal medicine. This is counted as part of your cardiology training of six years. Of course, once you start doing your cardiology training, you just have to make sure that your logbook requirements are fulfilled. For example, you'll have to do, for uh, just as an example, 100 echocardiographies. That has to be fulfilled in the remaining four years. I hope that makes sense. So this is a huge difference compared to post-graduation in India where you are fixed to one department, one hospital and because you pay so much money for post-graduate degrees these days, people just put up with whatever they have and the rest of their life is decided for them. You can change your degree or your field anytime you want in Germany. You can change it after three years, two years, five years, doesn't matter. This is a huge plus for Germany. The next big difference is the work hours in Germany are restricted. I know some of you might be saying, but PGs have to work nonstop. No, this is not the case in Germany. It might be the case in the US. It might be the case in India where the postgraduate starts working at eight and he keeps on working late into the night with absolutely no <laughs> timetable whatsoever, no uh, shifts, nothing. It's not like that in, in Germany, you're restricted to eight hours per day. It doesn't matter what you are. In case you work more, you'll be compensated for that time handsomely. So every extra hour you work, you will be paid. So in reality, we work for just eight hours a day. And 
you would have around five to six night shifts in a month in rotation with your other colleagues. So in total, a doctor is not supposed to exceed 58 hours per week by law. So even if you want, you can't work more than 58 hours. It, the time is restricted, the labor laws are very strict, and hospitals can be penalized heavily if they make the doc doctor work for more than 58 hours or more than 40 hours per week. It was not the case. I don't know if things have changed now. When I was doing my post graduation in India, it was crazy. We had a, a, a shift telephone with us all the time, 24-7. We could be called any time during the day or night. There were no fixed timings for a postgraduate and it was awful. I'm so glad I shifted from India to Germany and life has never been the same again. So if you're somebody who's interested in doing your post-graduation in medicine in Germany, follow my channel. I'll be soon posting a course and a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your post-graduation in Germany. It is very easy. There are no written exams. The next big difference is there are no written exams during a post-graduation in Germany. I know it is shocking. There are no written exams to do your post-graduation in Germany. What do I mean by this? First of all, there's no entrance exam. The only way to get into residency are two Viva exams. One is called the Fachsprachenprüfung. One is called the Approbationsprüfung. So both of these are oral Viva exams. Once you get into post-graduation, after five years, you can take your exam. And even this exam is an oral Viva exam. I mean, <laughs> my exam was for like 40 minutes and they just asked me around 10 questions which I had to answer. And that was it. I got my degree then and there. So there is no other country where the exam is this easy. I mean, I'm so happy I came to Germany to do my post-graduation. Of course, I finished my surgical post-graduation in Germany. I finished my radiology post-graduation in Germany. And I worked in Germany as a radiologist as well as a surgeon. Now I work in Switzerland. So if you are somebody who is interested in doing your post-graduation in Germany, get in touch with me. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. I'll be creating a new course on how to apply for post-graduation in Germany step by step, the easiest way possible. There are plenty and plenty of vacancies to do your post-graduation. If this is the time to apply and Stick around, subscribe to this video, click the like button and see you in the next video.